What a wonderful day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful day the owner of life has done. So beloved, it is him alone that we have to thank him. So this is another wonderful day around the whole world. Beloved, we owe him a prayer and also thanks. Shall we pray? Our good shepherd, the owner of life, you control life. This is another day you have given to your children. We owe you a thanks and also a prayer. By your mercy alone, with you, all things are possible. So this is another wonderful day you have given to your children around the four corners of the world. We thank you, miracle working God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for waking us up. It is the power, you alone has the power to do it for us. We give God the glory, we give God the honor in the mighty name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For we are still alive. May your will shall be done. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenew for availing yourself to listen to the end time prophets. Keep on watching the prophet because he he is called by God, and God is using his servant. May you all be blessed. Amen. Beloved, this is another day he has given us a word. And the title of the message is that Jesus is the true vine. Jesus is the true vine. So without wasting time, we go to the book of John 15 from one going. Let us hear his word. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. And I read one. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Two, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he take it away, and every branch that bear fruit, he prompt that it may bear more fruit. Beloved, you and I, we are the branches. So if you are not in him, he said here, he cut it away. And in reality, a farmer who has a fruit or some of the fruit does not bear any fruit, what does he do? He take it away. He cut that fruit and rather grow a fruit that will bear a fruit for him. So beloved, Christ is telling us here, every branch, you and I, we are the branch. And the branch, what does the branch mean? It means God in heaven, only know his true children on earth because we have to knock the door. And when we knock, we can enter. It means we have to live holy for him and seek nothing for ourselves, but living absolutely for the Lord and seeking only his glory with prayer and without doubting it. So beloved, as a branch, we have work to do. We continue through it. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. It is only the word of God that cleanses us. And without the weight, we are dirty. That means we don't know him. 
And the word transform life. And the word is something that we need forever and forever in our hearts. So beloved, we have to know the word of God. For abide in me and I in you. That means the Holy Spirit must be in us. Abide in me. That is Christ saying. And when Christ is telling us, abide in me, it is nothing but the Holy Spirit. So beloved, let us abide in him as the branch cannot bear a fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. We cannot do anything without Christ. The owner of life, he control you and I. And without life, we will be dead. So that's why he said we cannot do anything. And the Holy Spirit in us, he guides us, teaches us, and let us know the word of God. He is the greatest teacher. So this morning, Christ is telling us to abide in him. What a savior, what a king, what a master the one who knows us, our inside and outside. So beloved, let us abide in Christ. Without Christ, everything is useless. So this morning, he is telling us in John 4, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches, and he who abide in me, and I in him, bear nothing bear much fruit, for without me, you cannot do anything. When we fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we are abiding in Christ, and he will teach us the word of God. And he said, if we don't abide in him, we cannot do anything. Without Christ, where are you heading to? There is nothing in you. Everything is useless without Christ. So let us be aware of that. And he wants us to bear good fruits. What are the good fruits? Is to share his word, to fellowship with others, those who does not know him, so that they will know the word of God. So beloved, let us witness the word the gospel to those who does not know so that we can bear the good fruit. Hallelujah. We continue verse six. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and it is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Beloved, if you don't know Christ, if you have not accepted him, this is his warning in verse six. He said, if anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they will gather them and throw them into the fire. Beloved, this is very, very, very serious. So this is the day. Today is the day to accept him so that you will abide with him that you may not, if you have not accepted him, be cast out into the fire. This is his warning to those who does not know him. Beloved, this is very serious. And the day is coming when the trumpet sounds if you have not accepted him, this is where you will be heading to. So this is the day. Today is the day for salvation. So let us know the word of God. Whatever Christ say, it surely come to pass. Hallelujah. We continue, verse seven. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask 
what you desire and it shall be done to you. He is the master planner, the master supplier, the master who can give every good thing is from him. So he is telling us anything, if we abide in him, his word, abide in us, anything we ask or what we desire, hallelujah, she shall be done unto us. The king of glory, he knows us. He is so rich in abundantly. So that's why he is asking you and I. Look at us, the bread. It is him alone who has given to us. So beloved, let us be aware what Christ is telling us this morning. We give him all his glory, covenanted God. Eight, by this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. When we do all what he is telling us this morning, preaching the gospel, witnessing, all what he is saying, we have to do it so that the Father is glorified. Beloved, you and I, we have a work to do to spread the gospel, to witness the gospel so that we can bear more fruit, so that we can win more soul for God's kingdom. Our almighty Jehovah loves souls. So you and I, we have to go out there. The saint of God, we have work to do to win souls for our God, to win souls for his kingdom. So this morning, it is a privilege. We want to be the disciple of him. We have a task. We have to, a commission to fulfill. So this morning, he is telling us, as a disciple, we have work to do, to go out there for souls, for his kingdom, hallelujah. So this morning, there is nothing we can do but to, to fulfill what God wants us to do. And this morning, those who have not accepted Christ as their personal savior, today is the hour, today is the day. Give your life to Christ, come before him, he will receive you. He will accept you. So beloved, let us, those who does not know Christ, accept Christ. Let us win souls for them. Let us go out there and witness the gospel unto those who are perishing. Beloved, it is the moment that we do what the master is telling us. Mighty Jehovah, we thank you as a branch and we have to fulfill what you want us to do so that the Father will glorify. It is you that have the word. We thank you, Spirit of the living God, for this morning, for giving us the utterance to hear the word of God. Holy Spirit, we thank you as our comforter, our teacher, our guide, and our friend. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, Prophet Kanew, the one that you have called, and the one who is drawing souls for your kingdom. So beloved, may the will of God be abide and also his wife and also the listeners for availing yourself. Mighty Jehovah, we thank you for giving us a word this morning. And it is by your power, by your might, by your authority, 
that we go out there and witness and preach the gospel unto the Lord's soul. May your will shall be done for giving us a word this morning. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, merciful God. Oh, dear Lord, what you have done for us, no one can do it for us. May your will shall be done this morning for giving us a word like this. This is all what we need. We thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Jesus, your word has come forth. Those who want to listen, they will listen. And those who have not accepted Christ, this is the moment. His word has come forth. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify you. As your word has come forth. Amen and amen.